Solark 12K Outback Flex Power Radian. Which is the best inverter for grid down preparedness? We're going to be answering that question and much, much more in today's video. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge. And for the last eight years, I've been helping families get their house set up to survive a loss of the electric grid. Now on this channel, we talk about all things related to off the grid living, solar energy, self-sufficiency and survival. And I'm excited today to be bringing you two off grid hybrid solar inverter products. Now, when we're setting up a home to survive a loss of the electric grid, typically solar alone is not going to do it. Uh, a hybrid renewable energy system typically includes solar panels, battery storage, and generator backup. So in a worst case scenario, especially like now in the winter time, if you end up in a grid down situation and there's not enough sunlight coming in to keep your batteries charged, you can use the generator as a third level option to recharge your batteries that way. Now today we're going to be doing a head to head comparison to what I think are some two of the best uh, battery hybrid inverters on the market, the Solark 12K and the Outback FlexPower Radian. We're going to be doing the evaluation across five categories where there's a potential of five points in each category for a maximum potential score of 25 points. Those categories are power, looking at both continuous power and peak surge power, battery support, meaning which types of batteries can you use with the inverter, warranty, uh, of course the cost of the product and the cost to install the product, and then finally what I call the X factor. And there's going to be a lot of X factor in this video, so you're going to want to watch to the end. But what the X factor is, is a way for us to give the product credit for unique design features where there's not necessarily a one for one uh, apples to apples comparison between the two, but it could have significant impact and significant benefit for you as a system owner. So let's jump right into it. All right, we're going to look at the Solark 12K first. And as the name implies, the Solark provides up to 12 kilowatts of continuous power. Now, that's a lot. In fact, it's larger than any other similar product that's available today on the market. With a 12 kilowatt power budget, not only can you run critical systems like water pumps, refrigerators, bedrooms, lights, and security cameras, but you can also run heavy loads like central air conditioning compressors or even electric water heaters, both at the same time. Now, it doesn't mean that you should necessarily do that, but if you had to, for whatever reason, had to run your air conditioner and your electric water heater, uh, the Solark 12K with 12,000 watts of power and surge power up to 16,000 watts is going to be able to handle that. That is only if your battery can handle it as well, but we'll talk more about the batteries later. So at 12,000 watts continuous power, there is no other product like this on the market. Very, very high marks in this area. Now, in terms of battery support, the Solark also supports all major battery chemistries. So you can do the traditional flooded batteries, you can do AGM batteries, uh, nanocarbon AGM batteries, uh, you can do lithium ion, lithium iron phosphate, nickel, manganese, cobalt, lithium, uh, just about any chemistry that's available out there on the market, the Solark is going to be able to handle that and you can program the specific battery charge settings using the control panel here. In terms of the warranty, the Solark comes with an industry leading 10 year warranty, which is really unprecedented for this type of battery hybrid inverter. So very solid there. Another area where the Solark excels is in the cost. Uh, as of this recording, the cost for the equipment itself for the Solark is about 10% less than the comparable Outback product that I'm going to show you in a minute. And because all the components are integrated here in one piece of equipment, it's also much, much faster to install, uh, especially if you're going to be attempting a do-it-yourself install. The Solark gets the highest marks in this category. Now, let's look at the X Factor. As I mentioned earlier, there's a lot of X Factor uh, to like about the Solark product. Uh, we'll start with some of the common ones and then uh, as the end we'll talk about some of the very, very unique features that I believe only the Solark offers right now. Um, the Solark has generator support, 
Again, this is very important for anybody that's really serious about surviving a prolonged grid down event. You want an inverter that provides generator support so that you have an alternate means of recharging your battery during periods of prolonged inclement weather. The Solark also has a smart load. Um, what the smart load is, uh, sometimes it's called a dump load, uh, but basically what that is, is it allows you to uh, program the use of a certain appliance only when electricity is in abundance. So one common smart load, when you're in an off-grid environment, one common smart load is an electric water heating element. And basically what that tells the system is, okay, if the sun is shining, the needs of the house have been fully met, the batteries are fully charged, if we still have extra energy available, put it into the heating element in the water tank. So I'm basically able to capture that excess energy and use it to heat the water so I don't have to pull that energy from the battery or somewhere else later. So the smart load feature is a nice feature to have here with the Solark, um, as well as the automatic generator start. Uh, again, in a true off-grid environment, it's not uncommon to have to use the generator on a daily basis even during certain parts of the year when you're experiencing inclement weather. So with the automatic generator start, you can tell the Solark at what point you want it to automatically start the generator for you so you don't have to go out there and hit the switch yourself. Uh, it's very common to program it to if the batteries fall below, let's say 40% state of charge, to then automatically activate the generator start. While the generator is running, it'll be powering the home and replenishing the batteries back to full charge simultaneously. So nice capability to have here. But here's where it gets really interesting and where Solark really starts to uh, uh, you know, make that gap uh, between uh, the Outback capabilities and what it can offer. So the first thing is, is the integrated charge controllers. In a typical DC coupled system like the Outback, you have separate DC charge controllers for each solar array that's feeding into your battery system. However, Solark has figured out a way to integrate the charge controllers into the inverter's enclosure so it all appears as one unique uh, appliance. So it's a lot less bulky to deal with. It's also a lot simpler wiring plan. You can deliver your solar PV input directly to the same box, you deliver your battery, and you deliver your AC loads. So makes for a much, much cleaner installation and a lot less bulky in your utility room. One also very, very special feature about the Solark is that this is actually a battery optional system. Now what that means is you can use the Solark and install a traditional grid-tied solar system to get started. Let's say you don't want to take on the initial cost and complexity of doing a battery backup and doing a separate loads panel. You could install Solark with the solar panels and inverter only, hook it up to the grid, and then come back six months or a year later and add battery backup to it without having to add any special additional equipment besides just the batteries, the cables to hook the batteries, and so forth. So it's the only product on the market that offers this battery optional capability. The Solark is also EMP hardened, and this is one of the first things when it first came out uh, that they were really focusing on was this EMP protection. You know, many of us in the preparedness community are preparing for a grid down event, which could be caused by uh, an electromagnetic pulse attack on the electric grid. And the Solark has proprietary technology built in that provides protection not just for the solar equipment, but also for the appliances within your home from an EMP protection standpoint. So a very, very unique capability here. And then finally, the Solark gets credit for its transformerless architecture. Uh, without getting too technical about it, by doing the inversion and the charge controlling without having to have separate transformer coils, uh, it makes it for a much more compact, much lighter, uh, much lighter equipment. The Solark 12K, for example, weighs 75 pounds when compared to the Outback system, if we're looking at the, the full pre-wired Outback system, weighs over 280 pounds, and it requires two to, three, two to three guys just to get it lifted up into place to get it on the wall. So additional credit to the Solark product there. All right, now let's take a look at the Outback Radian. The Outback Radian comes with a continuous power rating of 8,000 watts, with the ability to surge peak up to 16,000 watts for motor starting. 
So not quite as much continuous load capacity as what the Solart can offer. Although I will tell you folks, in a true grid down situation, it's gonna be very rare that you carry a load larger than 8,000 watts continuous. Although you could do it if you had to, it's not necessarily wise to do that because you could end up overloading your battery system or other parts of the system. In terms of battery support, the Outback system also supports all the major battery chemistries. So again, if you wanna use a flooded battery, if you wanna use a, uh, an AGM battery, which is what I use here, you can use the newer nanocarbon AGM batteries, uh, as well as the lithium ion chemistries. So the Outback is gonna support all of that and it can be configured here through the control, uh, the control panel so you can set the exact battery charging parameters. In terms of the warranty, as of this recording, Outback is only offering a five-year manufacturer's warranty for the product. Now, there may be some options in the future to extend that, but as of this recording, uh, it is limited to a five-year warranty. In terms of the cost for the product, it is about 10% higher cost just for the equipment itself for the Outback solution. And I think a lot of that really has to do with the bulkiness of it. Again, this is 280 pounds. Uh, and so the freight shipping for that and the logistics of that, you know, could lead to the higher cost. Also, um, because of the way the, the architecture is laid out where you actually have separate components, um, it, it leads to kind of a bulkier configuration. Now, the flip side of that is that it is more user serviceable than the Solark. Since you can, for example, replace a charge controller on your own or replace the control panel without having to replace the entire system. So there is a little bit of trade off there of serviceability versus uh, a more compact, lightweight design. Now, let's take a look at some of the X Factor capabilities. So, in terms of X Factor for the Outback, uh, the Outback also has generator support. We've already talked about why that's important. You need to have a backup power source to your solar in case the weather is inclement for a long period of time. So the Outback has the generator support as well as the automatic generator start for most of your major generator brands. So you can have the system automatically start the generator once the batteries fall below a certain point. And the Outback also has a, an intelligent smart load that can be programmed uh, both on the, the DC and the AC side. So we spoke about that earlier, a smart load, or sometimes called a dump load, uh, is nice to have in an off-grid environment so that if your, your, your house is powered, if the batteries are fully charged and you still have some extra energy available, you may wanna send that uh, to an appliance that you wouldn't otherwise use, like a, a water heating element or even a, a, a space heating element, so you can capture some more of that uh, available sunlight. All right, so let's take a look at a summary comparison. Uh, on the power factor, the Solark offer, offers 12 kilowatts continuous power and 16 kilowatts surge power. So slight advantage here for the Solark. Um, the Radian only provides eight kilowatts continuous and the same 16 kilowatts surge power. Both systems support all the major battery types and battery chemistries. The Solark offers a 10 year warranty compared to a five year warranty on the Outback Radian. Cost-wise, the Solark has a slight advantage, being about 10% lower cost for the materials, and also I would estimate probably 70% uh, of the cost, so 30% lower cost for labor to wire the Solark system. And then finally for X-Factor, I award the Solark four additional X-Factor points for some of these unique features like the transformerless architecture, um, the smart load programmability, and the EMP hardening which is important for so many of us who are preparing to survive a loss of the electric grid. Outback gets two X-Factor points for the fact that it is a nicely uh, organized pre-assembled system and does have the generator support and generator auto start. So if we tally it up, I'm gonna give the Solark five out of five for power, five out of five for battery support, five out of five for warranty, five out of five for cost being the lowest cost product of its type currently on the market, and four out of five for the available X-Factor points for a total of 24 points. For the Outback Radian, we're gonna rate it four out of five on power, five out of five on battery support, only three out of five on the warranty because right now it's only offering a five-year warranty, 
four out of five points for cost since it is a slightly higher cost product and a little bit, little bit more timely to install. And then plus two X factor points for the generator support and the smart load capability. So the winner is, and not by a close margin, but the, the decisive winner is the Solark 12K. This really, really is a game changing product for those that are looking at solar for grid down preparedness. It's got just about any feature that you can think of that you would need. Again, generator support, plug in the battery later, use any type of battery you want. And you know, I know the folks at Solark as well, and I had a chance to meet, when, uh, meet them out at the Solar Power International Conference in California a few years ago when they first rolled out the Solark 8K. And I can tell you, these folks are really all about empowering individuals to be able to do low cost solar with battery backup and so their product really is geared towards a do-it-yourself type audience or people that are willing to take on the, the complexity of, of trying to install an electrical system on their own. Whereas Outback really, really is not. Outback, um, it's a great company too, and it's the, it's the system that I use here at my home. But the folks at Outback really are geared towards more selling to highly technical uh, engineering minded folks. In fact, I think one of their technicians once told us, these systems are designed by engineers for engineers. Um, but the Solark really does have a great product offering. Now listen folks, if you're interested in seeing if any of these options are available in your area, uh, be sure to reach out on us. There should be a link below where you can hit us on the website or hit us on social media. Uh, and of course, as always, if you're getting good value from the information that we're putting out on the channel here, uh, make sure you click that like button and click on that subscribe button. And also go ahead and share the video directly with anybody else that you think will, will benefit from it. We've got the videos available on all the platforms now, Rumble, BitChute, uh, YouTube. Uh, you should be able to uh, get our page on Facebook as well. And um, you know our goal is to really help as many people as possible become as self-sufficient as possible so that whenever the next crisis hits, whatever it may be, you're not there waiting for the government or somebody to take care of you. Well, as always, folks, I thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.